So here we have Codices open, and now just go ahead and click on New Project. Because we installed the package via the Codices installer, that gives us access to some templates to work with for our 4.3 inch display. First is the IFM display, and second is the same display template, just rotated 90 degrees, so the keypad would be on the right hand side. I'm just going to choose this first template here. And then this will load up an actual working project. The major benefits from starting with a template is that the key mapping is already present and that some of the other libraries are loaded. So it's just a very simple place to start to have an actual working application. So here the template is all loaded up. If you're not familiar with Codices 365, we are working under the Devices tab, and here's the device at the top. In this case, here is our 4.3 inch display. And then we have the application underneath it. You will see with the template, there are some things already loaded here, such as some global variables for the keys, along with falling trigger and rising trigger instances also for the keys. So if we double click on this, we see all of the key mapping that's already taken care of within the template. This is the text list for the key codes. There are some basic images loaded here in the image pool. The library manager is all loaded up and includes the library for the display. So here we have two PLC PRGs. In this case, there's one in function block diagram, which shows the key mapping and setting of the key mapping. So a very basic template. The other option here is in structured text. So if you prefer structured text versus the function block diagram, you can delete this PLC PRG. And then right click on this one, go to properties, build, and then uncheck exclude from build. And now you can use this one in your task. You can see your task configuration. Anytime you use a visualization, it automatically adds the Vishu task. And then we also have the main task here, which is calling the PLC PRG. We have a visualization manager, which has our target visualization for the display. You can see here it's starting on the Vishu default. In this case, that is the only visualization in this template. Here we take a look at the visual default by clicking the tab. Something new you'll see is the template shows the actual screen itself. And then this is the visualization area here in the middle. You can click on the elements and then see the properties of each element as well as click on the visualization toolbox. And then you can add different features to the display with the built-in elements that Codasys brings to us. The last thing you'll see in the tree here is the CAN and Ethernet where we can expand on and add CAN, CAN open, or J1939 and Ethernet. We can also do Ethernet mod bus, TCP or Ethernet IP. So at this point, we can go online with the display. So we come up here to the device and scan network, and here we can see the 1140. If you don't see the device that you're looking for, you may need to make sure that the IP address of your PC is in the same subnet as the display. So it needs to be 192.168.82. And then as long as it's not matching the last byte as the display, you can set it to that. Another thing that happens is a lot of times the display will still look like this. If that's the case, you need to click on the power button here. And then, after receiving a prompt, close the display and you'll get a blank screen. At that point, you can scan again. If you're not doing it with the 4.3 inch display, the image will look like this. And in this case, if this is a 5 inch or larger, you can click launch application and then that will go to a blank screen. And then at that point, you can scan. So now we'll come back to the 1140 here. We can click on that, then click OK. And now we can see that it is all connected here on the right, and now we can go online with the device. You can either click this little login icon here, or you can come up to online and log in. It's prompting us that there is no application on there. Do you want to proceed? Click Yes. And now this will start the process of compiling and downloading the application to the display. Once it's all loaded, we can either hit the little play button here to start, or under debug is the start command. The status will change on the bottom of your window here. And at this point, you'll see the display up and running with what you saw in the visualization. We're all finished with this video. Hopefully, you've got everything loaded. Thank you for watching. As always, you can check out our website for helpful information on any of our products, or contact us at info.us at ifm.com or call into 1-800-441-8246 to speak with somebody who can assist you. Thank you for your time and have a great day.